What's up guys? Hope you're doing great. Whew, a little toasty out here, but we gotta enjoy the warm weather while it's here. Um, in this video, I must admit, I have a confession to make. Something has changed, and y'all haven't known about it for a few weeks, but I'm gonna tell you after our mowing action. Alright, let's do it. What's up guys? As you can see, these shrubs, this section's actually got a pretty good amount of growth on it. I was like, man, something smells bad. I'm looking at my hand and come back. Look at that straight dog poop on there. Um, it must have been on the foot pedal of my zero turn. And I drove my zero turn down here, you know, with the head trimmer. Saved me some walking as I walked down. Um, and so, yeah, I kind of grabbed the foot pedal. And it must have been dog poop on the foot pedal. Because these people got dogs and stuff. Um <laughs> So it was very, very unfortunate, right? <laughs> but, you know, yards like this where it has a lot of, a lot of bushes, um, I tend to like, you know, since I only do weekly yards now, what I'll do is I'll just, you know, as I go along, I'll tackle one section, you know, when I'm there, and then maybe, maybe next week I'll do another little section, you know, so that way I'm not, I'm not there for hours trimming bushes at the property. Um, I kind of do it a little bit as I go, you know what I mean? Um, check it out, which I got a new hedge, new Milwaukee hedge trimmer sitting out in the garage. I got to bust that thing out and then send this one back in because this one's loud, just like we talked about in one of the other videos. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. But, oh yeah, I'm just showing you guys one of my customer had a party. Um, this week, so they uh, wanted me to freshen up the straw a little bit. So we just added some new straw all along here and all along, um, you know, around the, the new river rounds and stuff. Got it all mowed up, edged up. Um, it's a pretty big property. Um, not too much grass, though, but pretty good sized property in general. They had a couple of these bales that they sell, like in the bags at Home Depot. And, um, so I put those out as well. So I'm just cleaning up the trash from that. Um, and it's, it's looking great out here. Um, there's going to be a lot of action in this video. And I got to tell you all about something, something that I did, changes that I did. Um, but it's all good. It's all good stuff. But so, I mean, this, we got the straw looking nice. Um, the grass actually used to go over closer to those shrubs, but it was struggling. So they had me like, uh, cut it out, you know, and we just strawed over it, which had a little less grass, but the grass that they have, it looks good. Ooh, check out this new tripod I got from Amazon. Pretty cheap one, but it, it looks it's simple, basic, and works great. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, you know, I have other smaller ones and stuff I'll use too, but. That one is good to have, you know, when you need it to get a little more height than just the small ones um, for the GoPro. So we're at our triple yard here, mowing it up, trying to get, this was just, you know, all this is uh, fresh footage all the time. I'm trying to video like all the time right now <laughs> um, to really try to, you know, put in a lot of work on my channel. And so, you know, it's a lot of work to do these things. If you guys try making these videos, you, you'll you see. But, um, you know, I'm out here all the time, you know, trying to record as, as much as possible. Pretty much every day. Maybe not every single day, but very close. Um, and so, yeah, we're, we're trying to do this thing right. And um, trying to make my channel better for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. So let's keep enjoying a little footage and then we'll talk about it here in a minute all right
Y'all remember from a few videos back, um, we got a goalie washer rain and washed a bunch of his rocks into the lake. So I picked a bunch of them out last time. Um, but he gave me like an extra $50 tip, even from what, um, so I wanted to get a little bit more of them out of the lake when I came. There's still a couple of bare spots on that, uh, fabric. So I wanted to get it cut. Look at this, like on top of this board, on top of the horizontal board of the seawall, it forms like its own little root system and weeds try to grow all along here. And so, um, I, like once a year or something, I need to just pull all this stuff off there. Um, cause it looks way better with it off there. It, like I said, it like grows its own root system. You got to pull it a little bit. Some of the stuff has even kind of bigger, um, root system, but yeah. It looks way better when I pull it off. A couple of bare spots on the fabric underneath the rocks is what I was talking about. Check out the spider. I'm going to get even closer in on it. Yeah, some kind of water spider. <laughs> I was hoping the water spiders were the only thing that's down here with me, you know, <laughs> in the water because uh, it's pretty crazy down here. But, um, it worked out, worked out great, got it looking great. And um, there's a section where she has so many plants now, right here, where it's hard to fit, hard to fit a mower in the gate around the other side. It's wide enough, um, but she has so many of these uh, elephant ears and different things. Awesome customer, but she loves to plant all these plants that grow like crazy. You see this lantana over here to the right. I mean, just crazy stuff. Look at this. Um, and check out, I'm even show you, it's hard when I even go to blow off their porch. Um, when we walk up here on the steps, like, your blower's like hitting plants and stuff as you try to walk through there. <laughs> What's up guys, hope you're doing great. Um, yeah, I got a confession to make, not a big deal, but I wanted to tell you guys because I haven't told y'all for a few weeks. Um, so... A few weeks ago like I was I stuck to my commitment of not I'm not of not buying any more mowers right now but um, which I don't even know if I told y'all that but that's been my plan I'm just gonna you know uh, build build wealth pay down my house I'm gonna do other things right now um, and that means I'm gonna have to be creative and keep my mowers running for right this minute but I will buy some th other things and things like that. It's actually, you know, something be here possibly today. But that's not what this video is about. Um, this video is about... So, every day I was spending like 20 minutes just shimmying, shimmering mowers around. You know, trying to get them in my garage every day. And uh, finally got tired of it enough. So, I sold one of my mowers. <laughs> and what I did was... I sold the John Deere. Now I love the John Deere and I put a lot of hours on it. I'd say not a lot of hours on it, but you know, I put a good many hours on it. Uh, mowed my route with it lots of times. I love the mower. But if I think of all the mowers I have, if I had to get rid of one, you know, that's the one that came up on the list. Now I think that mower is the probably one of the most durable mowers that I have. But I'm talking about user experience um, you know, leg-wise, knee-wise, all that. There's so much hustle that goes on in my route. Um, the terrain, the terrain that I deal with, and just all the stuff that, hey, if you can sit down for a minute to actually do the mowing, it's a really good idea. So, because there's a ton of walking, ton of standing up. Obviously, stand-on mower is a little better than a walk behind. Um, and it is, but, uh, both are not as good as a sit-down mower because you do get a little break um, to do this. Just my opinion. And here's the other problem. I like stand-on mowers, but there's, besides that new Hustler one, forget what it's called, Surfer Pro or something like that, that new little small one they have, kind of entry-level one, besides that, really the only problem I have with stand-on mowers is just that they don't, all of them are way heavier than the riders that I use. 
So for my lawns, the weight, you know, as y'all know, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. Like I've talked about it a million times. I gotta get more of this light. And so, you know, the walk behind works great, but um, but like I said, my, my little Liberty Z is probably actually lighter than that unit mower by itself. Um, and then, you know, I'm like 159 pounds or somewhere in there range. Uh, somewhere in the mid to high 150. So, you know, so the, you know, you just, I just can't beat the sit down mowers for my type of route. Like there's just nothing, there's nothing available. Either you gotta use a walk behind like my others, or you can use, they don't have a stand down mower that's lightweight like this, except for this new Hustler one that came out, which I mean, not against that or anything but it just came down to hey i love the mower but it's getting so annoying doing this every day i don't want to build a big shop right now um you know i will do that in the future we actually plan to buy the lot beside my house and build a big old shop over there and do all this and that will be coming but um for right now you know like well if i list it for three thousand you know maybe i will sell it and so i sold it um, you know, and that, that's it, you know, like there's, it's not, it's not too in depth. I love the mower. I would have liked to kept, keep it. Um, but again, it just doing that every day, eventually <laughs> doing that for like a year now, almost so shimming the mower, shimming them, shimming them into fit. Just man, get on my nerves. And then plus, you know, I need to rest my legs and knees as much as I can you know I there's nothing I can do about it. I have to walk around and edge and trim and stuff I have to blow you know I can't really do anything about that um yes you can blow off some driveways with a stand on mower but you still have to get off and do most of it I've owned two stand on mowers so I'll have to do another video about oh man there's one mower that I wish I had never sold and um there are several actually but anyway so that that's the deal um I'm not planning on getting mower this year. We'll have to see though. Um, that is, um, my plan is to not, and I'm still sticking with my plan. I haven't changed my plan. I just kind of took one more mower out of the equation. But, um, you know, as we go into next year though, it's possible that I do something else. It's possible that I, you know, it's possible that I, um, you know, it's possible that I, I get something else because the snapper's getting lots of hours on it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. You know, I'm not going to pay a billion dollars for a mower. I'm just not... I, I'm nothing against you all that do that, but I got way better things I want to do with my money than <laughs> 13k on a mower or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, no no problem to y'all that are buying those new mowers and stuff right now. I mean, I, I like them. They're cool and everything, but I just... I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> now I do have to buy things tax-wise and stuff. You know, I increase my prices, so I'm gonna have a little bit more taxable income now. All those things, yes, yes. The answer is yes to all those things. But still, you know, if I have to spend a good chunk of money, I just don't know that I wanna spend that much money on a mower, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know what else exactly I would spend it on, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to spend that much money on a trailer either. The only thing you would spend that much money on would be like a truck or something. But um, but I do the mileage right off on my truck. Um, so I get money per mile no matter what truck I got. So, which I could change that if I, whenever, you know, years down the road if I buy a different truck. But yeah. Um, so I don't know. So that's what happened. Confession. That's the confession. I sold the mower. Um, I love the mower. It's no problem with it. Um, and I may experiment with some other things this year. Uh, there's some other things that I probably will buy. So y'all stay tuned to that. There's two things that are supposed to be, um, I'm supposed to be picking up today. So, all right, that's enough rambling. I got to do more yards. I appreciate y'all watching. See ya.